Alright, so welcome back. Uh, after uh, releasing their debut album through Ironworks Records and Black Dragon Records in 1985, titled Freedom's Rise, 1987, they are signed with Metal Blade and they released their follow up and um, titled Burn to My Touch, which of, course, which of course has artwork by Ionis, which of course did artwork for Fate's Warning, Obsession, and so forth, and uh, this artwork is definitely cool. It's a little more fantasy based than what was given on, uh, you know, maybe uh, Freedom's Rise. Even though Freedom's Rise was still fa uh, fantasy based, but when it comes to the Black Dragon Records artwork, it's fantasy, but still pretty damn dark. Here, it's definitely fantasy, but I guess there could be a dark meaning to it. I don't know. I own this, just has a really cool way of, you know, drawing his artwork. So, uh, this album, uh, Burn To My Touch, album starts off with Transgressor, a fucking great track with, uh, continuing that sound that was displayed on Freedom's Rise, but it's a little more, uh, different this time, it's still, they really definitely progressed a bit, uh, Transgressor, uh, uh, Birds of Prey, Cast Out, uh, Portrait of Despair, Blacklit Nights, uh, The Maniac's Mask, Legend, uh, Walking Fire, and Speed of Sound. This whole album is just fucking great. There really isn't a bad track on here. This, uh, and, and plus the sound is a little shorter than Freedom's Rise. This is like almost around, it doesn't even, um, go over 30 minutes. This album is a fucking short, uh, but sweet album. It's like, you can just play the two albums back to back and Annie Mashaw definitely shows off some great vocal performances on this one. But this sound is definitely a little more melodic as well, but there are definitely the best song. So great songs on here like Transgressor, uh, Cast Out, and um, you know, Blacklit Nights, uh, Speed of Sound. There really is a bad song on here. Uh, just a fucking killer album uh, all around. Um, and of course, there is a uh, little thing at the end of Speed of Sound. It's a very uh, hidden thing. It's of course of Annie Mashaw uh, sound like a fucking hawk or something. It's uh, It's like almost at the fucking end of the track and it just, uh, it's a very short minute but it's fucking <laughs> but then again it just, it's I guess a very uh, good rep a representation of what was fucking let upon your ears after this album. This is definitely a fucking great album in a way. But this would end up being Annie Mashaw's last album with Leisure Lord. Because after this, um, he would get uh, replaced by Joseph Camus. I probably butchered that last name. I don't know. Uh, but, and of course, they released a third record, which we will talk about. So, if you have heard Burn To My Touch, what are your uh, thoughts on this album? If you have any thoughts, you can post your comments down below. This is Heavy Thresher saying I'm out. And I'll see you on the next video.